Welcome to our new series called I Want to Be an Engineer. Here we will give you some suggestions to simplify your life as an engineer. The first steps of an engineer. Now that you've finished your studies, you're expecting to get a job soon, but are you really prepared for it? The first tip is always do your best. When you start a job, you have a lot of fresh ideas, things to do. You want to change the world, but usually the first task that they will ask you to do will be something small, so basic that maybe it doesn't even spark your motivation. Then let's put that differently. Always do your best even if your task looks irrelevant. That irrelevant task might seem small, but it will demonstrate that you can handle the work and those little tasks will become more and more complex with time and soon you will face more interesting challenges. The second tip is demonstrate the ability to get things done. Maybe you think that you can handle many tasks at once or you could think that what you do is not really hard but consider that your supervisor will only check what has already been finished and that is why your performance will be evaluated according to the amount of tasks you have completed and not in the time you spend doing them. If your task is long, try to split it in smaller tasks. For the third tip, don't wait passively for anyone to make good on their delivery promises. Regarding deadlines, you might trust the person responsible for the completion of the task, but bear in mind that people can forget important dates for many different reasons, and if you don't do anything, you will be freaking out when the day comes. You can remind them about the task and the deadline to be sure that everything will be ready in time. We don't overdo it. No one likes stalkers. For the fourth tip, confirm your instructions and the other person's commitments in writing. As we have said earlier, people sometimes forget, and the consequences are terrible. <coughs> Having your commitments in writing works as a reminder and also as proof of what they ask you to do. That's all for now. We'll see you in the next episode of I Want to Be an Engineer.